So, yep. guys, today I have a Wednesday's box programming for you. As always, um, the notes will be down below on YouTube um, if you can see it. So, the biggest thing with box programming, I'm trying to give you as many options as possible. So, if you don't have any of the equipment, you can do something at home. So, first thing today, the focus of today, we're doing snatches, um, a lot of them, and then we're doing a few really intense sort of 90 second intervals. So, a lot of sort of power output, but working on skill as well. We're going to start, the first thing is a hand power snatch, and it's a hand power snatch triple. Now, that's for people who've got a barbell. If you don't, um, essentially just use that time to focus on the technique. So, it could be a kettlebell, if you're going through, hang snatch. Driving up, it could be a barbell as well, it could even be a bag, okay? Just going from literally the knees and bag to overhead shoulders. Um, that's the main thing. If you've got your barbell, you've got 10 minutes to build your triple, heavy triple. Once you've got that, you go on to B. So if you had the barbell, you're gonna be doing five hand power snatches at 80% of A on every minute. Now, if you've got a kettlebell, a dumbbell, or an odd object, can do the same thing, do an e -mob, but you can increase the reps to something that's gonna challenge you. So for something like this for me, I might be doing maybe 10 to 15 reps of the 60 kilo kettlebell. You might do five, you might have a bag, you might do the same thing, 10, 15 um, hips to overhead with the bag. Just something that's gonna be challenging to do 10 times. Once you get through that, the real work begins. So this is the workout, it's three rounds and there's three 90 second intervals with 90 seconds of rest. Okay, so the first interval is gonna be 10 hang power snatches. You can do that, the weight is 50 or 35 kilograms, you can do that with a kettlebell, a dumbbell, an odd object, the same movement as before. You can increase the reps if you feel the need to. It's probably gonna be something that's gonna take you about 30 to 40 seconds. And then you're gonna arm wrap the remaining time, a pull movement. So if you're lucky to have a pull up at home, a few people do is pull-ups for the remaining time. It can be butterfly or kipping. Then you could either do a renegade row with the dumbbells, a TRX, if you've got that at home, or ring rows, or then simply, you could do a band row. So that would just be, I showed this yesterday, is standing over a band, could be a thin amount of this because this is very heavy, is standing over, getting nice and tight, putting through, all the way up, all the way down for the remaining time. You get a rest for 90 seconds, then you're going to go another 90 second hour wrap. This time it's going to be an overhead squat. So that's 50 or 35, that can be with the barbell. It can be with the kettlebell, it could be with the dumbbell. You could just go one at a time, it could be with the backpack. But you're going overheads, same thing, 10 reps. So from driving up, squatting down 10 times, nice and low, and then driving through. I might go 10 up on one arm and then the next round repeat on the other. And then you am wrapping either toast to bar or V-ups for the remaining 90 seconds. So that's gonna be really challenging. You're gonna rest 90 seconds, and the final AMRAP is 90 seconds. Thrusters, same thing. The RX weight is 50 or 35 on a barbell. However, if you've just got a, um, a kettlebell, dumbbell, backpack, it's just gonna be a front squat to impress, or with the kettlebell, could be the same thing. Single arm, thrusters, going through, Okay, maybe doing 10 on each side. And then you're going into max rep, hands and push-ups. It could be push-ups, it could be push-ups on a box. Once you've done that, repeat it two more times. That's your workout for Wednesday, guys. Hope you enjoy it. Any questions, you can comment down below. Thanks a lot, bye.